We're over a week into July and we've barely mentioned offline games. Now, in the past few days, we've had the chance to have hands on a good portion of that and today we've decided to mention some. Here's a list of over 20 single player and offline probably must play games for your Android and iOS. <laughs> Played online, offline, it doesn't really matter, it's either way one of the best games you'll have hands on this month. Death of the Breath, strange name, is actually not that new. It was released on Android and iOS around November last year, taken down then and now finally back up on the stores, with an even more polished gameplay. It's a simple yet engaging zombie survival FPS, all set in a hospital and it actually has a story, lots of maps, weapons, puzzles, this is a hidden gem. Hyperlight Drifter is now available in Android and iOS in a special edition for the price of 5 bucks. This special edition is an enhanced version of the main game with better frame rates, new weapons and just more content. Now, for those of you who miss it, Hyperlight Drift is a Souls-like action hack and slasher set in this non-linear, super challenging world with a banger soundtrack. You're gonna feel right at home if you do like pixel art classics. Not the greatest game in the list, just a quick mention and a decent addition to your list. Number three is a survival hide and seek horror game that can be played online and offline. As obvious as it looks, this one lets you play as these anime girls trapped in an amusement park. <laughs> it's funny, scary, rather silly, half the time you get frustrated. It's a free game though, rated a 4.7 out of 5. Yes! But if you want the real deal, you can go ahead and try Joker Show. It's a horrorscape survival horror adventure available on both the Google and the Apple Store with 250 megabytes of size. This game immerses you in a terrifying world where you must outwit a Joker to survive from this sick amusement. Which happens to be after your parents has left the house for the night, you were alone and you were bored <laughs> so decided to call it the Joker. So anyway, it's a pretty intense and engaging horror experience all around. <laughs> Professional Fishing Sim, maybe one of the finest games released this month, offers a immersive fishing experience with some really good graphics and realistic gameplay. You'll explore uh, different types of fishing spots, catch different species, and the best of all get to enjoy a pretty serene yet challenging simulation. Perfect for offline play, this game takes up 300 megabytes, making it a must-have for fishing enthusiasts. It's free, definitely could use more recognition. I don't reckon many of you remember Pass Part 2 the game. I mean, the first one was a decent hit, the second game was an even harder hit. It's a pretty short and sweet, fairly basic exploration, a town adventure and painting game where you build up reputation by solving other people's problems by creating paintings for them. Now this is a actual $25 PC game that's now sitting on both stores for free, although through its first hour of gameplay. I have to say it's probably one of the most underrated gems we've had hands on for the whole year. Definitely 9 out of 10. Get behind the wheel in 4 Lift Extreme Simulator 2, available on Android and iOS. This vehicle sim lets you master the art of forklift operations. With pretty realistic physics and some challenging levels, you'll transport goods, navigate obstacles and improve your skills. It's a must play for sim game enthusiasts, the game is no more than 200 megabytes, it's free and you can play it either offline or online to watch ads. <laughs> You can either do that or take the skies with Flight Sim Airborne. Uh, this Flight Sim for Android offers a realistic aviation experience in just 170 megabytes, letting you fly a vast arsenal of aircrafts, complete challenging missions and enjoy some really good graphics. Whether you are a novice or a seasoned pilot, this game provides an immersive flying experience and gives you accurate detailed flying maneuvers. It's offline, now rated 5 out of 5 and sits on the Play Store only.
It's either flight sim or heli attack if you want to have an aerial experience today. Uh, there is just one more game down the line. Anyway, Heli Attack, rated a 4 out of 5 on the Player Store since last week, has already been downloaded north of a hundred thousand times, and it offers very well made and very engaging high octane aerial combat sim. So, this Android game pits you in an intense helicopter battlefield where you'll navigate through challenging missions, upgrade, and dominate. It's perfect for fans of flight combat games. A must try if you are rooting for a puzzle adventure game. Number 10 we have Shapik The Quest. It's one of the most magical point and click journey of adventure games we've had hands on recently. It's sitting on both the Google and the App Store, inviting you to explore a beautifully hand drawn environment and solve really intricate puzzles. And for only $2 over here, Shapik lets you live inside a captivating story and meet really charming characters too in a delightful world. At 800 megabytes, it is a gem for fans of adventure games. I've already mentioned this game before, but if you're fond of the Stalker games, uh, we've got over here like the equivalent of Stalker on mobiles, although it's been around for quite some time, the game TVZ for Heart of Pripyat. This game takes you in a post-apocalyptic world where survival is just a key. We're gonna have to navigate the dangers of the land itself and fight off all kinds of threats so you can gather resources and stay alive. Uh, this offline survival first person shooter offers some intense gameplay, requires only 600 megabytes of space and it actually incorporates some real life landmarks from the Chernobyl area for added authenticity. Uh, coming in at number 12, we have Twilight Survivors. Uh, this is actually an online and offline roguelike survival game for Android and iOS, challenging you to survive in a post-apocalyptic world. With a 1 gigabyte size, this game offers an intense gameplay with permadeath mechanics, strategic decisions, and an endless replayability too. You're going to be exploring, scavenging, and fighting to survive in a gripping roguelike adventure. Coming in at number 13, we have Clash Island. Maybe the second best of all time mobile equivalent of the famous paid game Bad North, and actually an even better game in quality somehow. I mean, your job is to defend the kingdom and save the wards entirely. It's a tower defense game for Android only, challenging you to strategize and protect your troops on different islands. You're gonna be building all sorts of defenses, deploy heroes, and enjoy a rather smooth combat. It is a must play for tower defense enthusiasts. Available on Android and iOS for free, number 14 we have one of the freemium games on the Play Store. One of the finest we ever talked about, Moonshades is an action RPG dungeon crawler inspired by the Dungeons and Dragons, offering a super rich 3D world and a heck of a lot of spells, dungeons and monsters to just deal with and master. With only 700 megabytes of content, it offers weeks of fine-made, real-time turn-based combat. We give it a solid 9 out of 10, it's a hidden gem. I have to live this fucking place. Coming in at number 15, we have Middle Horror Escape. First of all, there seems to be a typo in the title, but it's not. It's copyright matter if they wrote Metal Horror. Anyway, a Metal Horror here is actually from the same developers of the game number 4 we mentioned today, The Joker Show. And this was another survival horror adventure, but more on the puzzle and exploration side. It might just be the best game into this list, if I had to say so myself, although it's not new. It plays offline and has a decently long campaign too. Not in the real world, but on screen this time, Master the Art of Parking with Parking Mass is available on Android and iOS. This racing sort of sim tests your driving precisions in pretty much any way possible by making you navigating through challenging parking scenarios, completing endless missions, so you can hopefully improve your skills and knowing about car physics. Uh, this is about 180 megabytes in size. It offers a really fun and engaging experience for racing fans. Do that or get ready for a explosive action and jet attack move. This was a game we talked about earlier where I said we have one more aerial action game in the list. A jet attack move is a pretty casual action flying 
game for Android, it offers a thrilling yet at times chilling gameplay, letting you pilot really advanced jets, complete missions, and engage in some intense actions. It's one of the better games for fans of fast-paced actions and maybe shooting. It's free, offline about 200 megabytes in total. Clothing store sim lets you manage your own fashion empire. Uh, you're gonna be designing, stocking, and sell the trending outfits to customers while managing your store's growth as well. See, this game is from the same developers of the gas station and store management simulator games. Pretty good in replay. And it uses almost the same design template maybe. It's an offline management sim and provides a pretty detailed and engaging experience. It requires only 100 megabytes of space though. Uh, however, if you don't like selling clothes, we can also go for Car Mechanic Shop Sim. See, this one's also from the same team and was released last week. Car Mechanic Shop Sim immerses you in a world of auto repair and customization, letting you manage your own mechanic shop. We're going to be fixing cars and upgrade parts to satisfy your customers. It's an offline game. It will take you about 160 megabytes of storage and it's totally free. Number 20, we're gonna recommend White Flame. This is actually an offline open world action adventure game that came out last week. Inspired by Pal World, it's a typical indie budget game and works quite simple with really good designs too. You're gonna be encountering a lot of boss fights and some puzzles. White Flame actually has a mad potential, if you ask me. You can play it on the Play Store only, it's said to be coming to iOS. There's just one problem. This game is about one gigabyte in total. Get ready for some casual shooting though with Gun Show. Number 21. This game features a fast paced shooting action in some bite sized matches with a lightweight of a 100 megabyte size. It's really good for quick matches and quick sessions to play on the go, available on both the Google and the Apple Store. Gancho offers some really exciting gameplay with pretty comedy and quirky characters, and there's gonna be lots of weapons and strategies to deal with. Either way, it's a free game and plays both online and offline. Number 22 on our list is Beyond the Room. See, this offline puzzle scape game for Android and iOS challenges your wits with super intricate puzzles and at some point it actually makes you go online. Why? It's actually so hard, the puzzles that you're gonna have to go online so you can watch ads and get some hints. Anyway, it's about 80 megabytes in total. It's definitely one of the best mystery puzzle and story adventure games you're gonna have hands on this month. If you like a good story along with your puzzles and novel, you're gonna have a blast with Beyond the Room. At number 23, we have Aquatica. I've actually mentioned Aquatica before last week. This is a simulation game for Android right now that lets you dive dive into the underwater world. With only 300 megabytes, it offers a really calming gameplay where you can build and manage your own ecosystem. There's the occasional action. You're going to be discovering exotic marine life, create thriving habitats, and enjoy a rather peaceful underwater scenery. It's a better game for you if you like simulation games and had a bit of moment of joy with the game Subnautica. It's a little bit of that too. And last but not least, we have Luna, The Shadow Dust. Maybe one of the most enchanting puzzle adventure games with hands-on ever. It lets you solve puzzles while exploring a beautifully hand-drawn environment. With a really captivating art style, atmospheric soundtracks, and an engaging gameplay, Luna offers a magical adventure every step of the way. There's one problem. It's a paid game, 20 on PCs, 10 on Android and iOS. Thanks for watching.